back. If you are just joining us, we are gearing up to break down the biggest stories emerging from this year's Summer Olympics. That's right. And to help us do it is 2008 Olympic bronze medalist Caroline Burkle, who swam for Team USA. Joining us right now, we're honored to have you here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Good. Good. I just asked you, have you been watching the Olympics? And you said, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, it's been so exciting. It's bittersweet every time. You want to get in there and race. You want to be there. <laughs> what is yeah. it, just quickly before we start doing some stuff, what is it like to be part of the Olympic Games? The it's ceremony. surreal. Yeah, it, is. it really is. It's just one of a kind you, when you bring the world together in one place to right. do that, and then you're in front of the rest of the world. It's, yeah. There's just a really special, magical dynamic about it. It's really neat. And the opening ceremonies, you all march mm -hmm. out together. Is it? Do you stick with your own sporting events, or do you all really just come together as a team? Well, we actually don't. Uh, I didn't march in opening oh, you didn't. ceremonies. We because usually the swimmers swim the next day, um, so resting. You have to rest because right. you're on your feet for like five to six hours, if not more. Right. So Michael this year he marched because he was like day three or you know the third day, second mm -hmm. day. So you have this window where you can choose, you know, and they want you to rest. So it's funny because all the swimmers are like Snapchatting each other in the village, you know, like opening ceremonies, watching it on TV. So that was what we did. <laughs> we watched it on TV. That is so Yeah, fun. it was pretty fun. When you're there and you're about to get in the water, do you feel, uh, are you nervous? Are you numb? What, what, talk about maybe your preparation and how you go in in the morning of, like, yeah. how do you prepare? Honestly, you're ready, you know, and it, everything's autopilot at that point and you don't really think about it anymore. Like people ask me, what do you think about before you race? And I'm like, I don't remember, you know, like you don't <laughs> yeah. remember because you're just in this phase of you're in tunnel vision. So. And we're watching your race right now. So tell us a little bit about what we're seeing. Um, okay. Where am I? <laughs> Where is that? Or that's Allison. So that's the first leg of the four by two. And that's Allison Schmidt, who's there this year as well. And she was also in 2012, and she was my roommate in oh, <laughs> 2008. Wow. So she went first, and then Natalie went second, I went third, and Katie Hoff went last. So, so we each swam a 200. So the same relay the men swam last night was the same, was our relay. It's that same distance, four now, by two. Being on, in a team, for swimming, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. different, right? It's yeah. you guys are very, very close. And yeah. Is there something that you guys do in the pool together knowing what you have to make up as far as time or how everyone's doing at the point that they're in the pool? Yeah, it's an interesting dynamic too because when you qualify for the relay, you're all competing against each other, oh. right? So for USA to qualify for the Olympics, you're competing against each other. So then after that, it's like you come together for a team to compete together. Wow. So you're really able to compete against each other and then put it aside and be a team and compete together for a specific cause you know and so it's a really cool feeling and I mean you're just you all know each other's strategies you all have an idea of how it's gonna go so it's pretty it's a, it's an awesome dynamic for sure very cool yeah <laughs> uh, what about uh, it what's the bonding like with with the team members and then also with uh, countries you're competing against is there do you get a chance to spend a lot of time with people from other teams or are you just so dialed in yeah um, a little bit of both. It depends. So you're definitely dialed in with swimmers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're all, we had like a year of your own high rise in the village and the United States has one entire high rise for just swimming and I think track. So that's two sports just mm -hmm. for one high rise. So, you know, you get to know the track and field guys and, and a little bit more because you're in the same building and then right. the gymnasts are in the building next to you. So you kind of see them more, but the, honestly, the more individual sports, we bonded with those teams more for some mm -hmm. reason. I just think we were on a similar schedule mm -hmm. and we had the same training rooms and things of that nature within the village. So I didn't, we didn't get to see a lot of the team sports as much as, as you know, the basketball guys came and watched us, which is cool, but That's cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, which now look, cool. you look extremely fit still. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> we know that this year that Phelps and Locked are trying something called wearable yeah. tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you know what it is? Are you familiar with it? And what do you think of it? Yeah. It's, it, you know, there's so much now. Yeah. That I think that honestly it's trial and error, but for swimming, there's less wearable tech just because you're in the water. Um, and I mean, it's going to grow. Everyone's going to become, you know, more aware of that. But I think that Wearable tech in general is just the new age of everything. So you're able to test, you know, your heart rate and your heart rate variability when you wake up in the morning and things of that nature. I think are really expanding and growing. So it's pretty cool. Um, but I, we didn't have any experience with that. We didn't even have Instagram in 2008. 
Oh, so right. we didn't even yeah. have hardly it, anything like that. It so just, it's a new world it to me. It just reminds for, me of a Fitbit, but just yeah. with more technology exactly. added towards yeah. it. Okay. So, and you know, I mean, a lot of the people on the team were Apple right. watches and stuff mm -hmm. too. So I mean, that's enough, I think, for them until they get in the pool and then they can measure their velocity and all that stuff as far as kick and pull and things like that go. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, you know, another big topic at the Olympics this year is the cupping. Mm -hmm. Yes. Have yeah. you done it before? Yeah, yeah. Cupping's a big thing. Um, is it I know Michael's, Michael has it all uh -huh. over him and stuff. Yeah. It's so basically there's these suction cups and in Chinese medicine it's a different thing where they like swab your um, they swab the inside of the cup with heat and then they put it on but now they have ones that you can just like pull up and they suction and it brings the blood to the surface so the capillaries I think that's capillaries, capillaries oh my gosh yeah. everyone's mm -hmm. gonna absolutely laugh at me right now the capillaries get pulled to the surface and it, it breaks so it rushes new blood and um, kind of boosts your immunity in that way right so but a, honestly a lot of it's psychological too because if you've been doing it your entire season then doing it there only makes sense because your body's used to it. So right. it's just sticking with what you're used to. It's like Mr. Miyagi stuff. Oh, with, totally. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah, and it's the same thing with anything else, you know? Like, if you're used to it, like, don't believe in it change it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if it's part of your routine. If it so. works, keep it. Yeah, if it's broken, <laughs> don't fix it. Or and if it's, it's not broken, don't fix it. Right. Seems like it might be working for him, too, yeah. right now, because... He just broke yeah. his own record, right? Yeah, yeah. He's doing amazing. I'm so proud of him. Seriously. He's done a huge just shift in his mindset, and it's been really awesome to see. Absolutely. All right. Well, what a night for Team USA at the Rio Olympics. Swimmer Michael Phelps continuing to shatter records, winning his 20th and 21st Olympic gold medals. Jamie Yukas is in Brazil with a wrap. Chalk up two more gold medals for Michael Phelps, avenging a rare Olympic loss at the London Games. The American swimmer won the 200-meter butterfly by just four one-hundredths of a second. He collected his unprecedented 20th gold medal and then hit the water again to anchor a winning relay race. Number 21 in the books. Not to be outdone in the pool was 19-year-old Katie Ledecky. She captured her second Rio gold in two tries, winning the 200-meter freestyle. And she's not finished yet. Ledecky is a favorite in the 800-meter freestyle event. And the U.S. women's gymnastics team made it look easy. The five-woman American team ran away with the gold medal with strong performances in all events. It began with the vault. And it ended with Simone Biles' spectacular floor exercise. The three-time world champion is considered the person to beat for the women's all-around gold medal. Now, have you also been watching gymnastics as well? Yes, and I get so nervous every time I watch the stuff beam. Still. I'm like, yes, yeah, and yeah. You know, starting the games with that one gymnast that was injured on the um, the vault. I just thought, I know. oh my gosh, I know. oh my gosh. I know it's heartbreaking, and there, anything can happen, you know. But I, know. I think that they're just grateful that they're there and yeah. being a part of a team, and they're also supportive. Yeah, I think an injury almost happens every year for gymnastics, unfortunately. But they're they're used to it. I feel like so they know how to bounce back from that too. I've been watching some of the eventing too for the equestrian and that has been yeah. rough. Those jumps that do not break, not a fan. Yeah. It's, not, it's not easy to yeah. watch. Okay, were your parents with you? In Beijing? Yes. Yes, they came and my brothers. Were they so. like this? I guess, yeah. <laughs> it's, they're like, we don't really get to see them that much. Right. So they're in the stands and we're down on deck swimming. So, so, so nerve wracking. Oh, I mean, because yeah. it can never be easy watching your children compete in the Olympics. So no. check out Allie Raisman's parents as they watch during their daughter's gymnastic routine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Allie's parents just uh. squirming as she competed as they were in 2012 when Allie won two gold medals as the captain of the women's team and she returned this year as the leader of Team USA Women's Gymnastics. They won gold last night as a team. Now Allie Reisman and Simone Biles, they go for their individual medals. Uh, next but it was hard to see Gabby up there because Gabby Douglas you know the all-american sweetheart who had been in the Olympics last time yeah. and not able to go back would you if you had one gold or even bronze oh, want yeah. to be there to defend that oh yeah 100 percent and, yeah. and it's that's part of the sport and the beauty of the sport is you have to know that you know not every single competition is going to be your absolute best. I mean, even Michael, he's yeah. had competitions where he hasn't been happy. You right. know, it just looks different to him than it does to everyone else. So, but you know, I'm sure Gabby is so proud and yeah. it's new generations, you know, they come up and she was, she set the bar for this one. And then, you know, 
Simone will set the bar for the next one. So it's just like everyone sets the bar for the next generations, which is super Heck cool. of a bar she set yeah. this year. <laughs> yeah, she did, and for you, sure. You set one as well. I just want to take a look at this <laughs> it's medal. It's so much this heavier than I thought it was going to be. No, this is incredible holding an Olympic gold medal right now. I know. This is yeah. amazing. But let's just, we just get a shot in the camera. If you want to see it, oh, that one. right there, yeah. up in one here. <laughs> and the back is jade. One. So on the, oh, in China, every metal Beijing. had a different um, color here. So mm -hmm. the bronze had this color, the silver had a light green jade, and the gold had white. Oh, too cool. And then look, you can see right here, Beijing. Yeah, and then the little, and these are like, honestly, the coolest feeling little so <laughs> cool, so cool to be yeah. holding this piece of history that you uh, made. Congratulations. Thanks. Yes, congratulations. Yeah, and thank you so much cool. for being here with of us. Of course. Thank you guys. It's right. super fun. Caroline Burkle here with us. And uh, we'll be right back with more news and weather.